Hey guys, so and welcome to another blog tech tips. So guys, for today I'm gonna look at this issue with the most Chinese smartwatches, and it can be any Chinese smartwatch despite the name. So just ignore the type I have here. This is actually a DZ09 smartwatch, but yours can be the U8 or any other types that's similar. As long as the Chinese smartwatches will apply. So in the case where you're getting this notification or something similar that says please install BT Notifier app in your remote device. On some other devices it might say, it might say actually say please install BT Notifier in smartphone. So if it says something similar, today I'm just going to show you how to fix the um, problem. All right? And all it's asking you to do, download is the BT Notifier app. So let's go straight over to the smartphone. And as you can see here guys, I'm connected to the internet and if I launch Google Play Store, You'll notice that once you're in the Google Play, let's go back, and you search for BT Notifier, you'll always notice that a bunch of BT notification apps may come up. So in that case, and you're unsure of which one to try, and you've been trying a bunch of them and you're not working, well, the first thing I want to do, guys, is to search just for the plain BT Notification, and go for this one here that says BT Notification, that's from um, this name right here. And as you'll see with the same icon, just tap on this one. What you're going to do is going to install. You're going to accept. And once you do that, guys, it should install. Of course, it's quite small. You see it's installing. It should finish in a few seconds. And of course, there it goes with the options to open. And open. And of course, it's giving the option to turn on your Bluetooth. You can just go ahead and say yes. And of course, it's asking you for access. From the app you can just go ahead and hit ok once you hit ok it goes into accessibility you can actually go through and actually find the app itself so just scroll down and once you scroll down guys you should see bt notifications it says off just go ahead and turn on the option here and turn on and it says you want permission to monitor your actions retrieve windows content just hit ok gonna go back and of course you can exit out of this menu once you do that guys, make sure that your um, Bluetooth is on and of course guys, you can just hit back on your device and to connect, simply just go ahead and turn on Bluetooth on your device, whatever it might be. So just search for your Bluetooth icon, there are Bluetooth, so I'm just going to turn this on, so I'm just going to power on, this is switching on and you can go into um, visibility, make sure it's on, All right? And of course on your device you can actually just go ahead again and launch the bluetooth icon over here and you'll notice it says on here and it's searching and you see there is shows the option that shows w90 just go ahead and tap w90 it says connecting it says connecting for call and audio calls and it's asked it to sync time and date you can go ahead and say yes if you want to or you could just go ahead and say no. The time is okay, so I'm going to say no. And then, of course, it shows you that the Bluetooth just connected a while ago. All right? So, and it shows up here that you're actually connected via Bluetooth. You can actually go ahead, guys, and launch the app. So, you can just go down, scroll over, and just search for the BT Notifier app. And here you can see the app on my device. I'm just going to launch again. And there you go, guys. It's connected by uh, Bluetooth. You can actually customize the settings. That's with the BT notification. And of course, this is the latest version of the BT notifier um, app. You can scroll through. You can see the version down here and so on. You can grant or deny um, permissions. And of course, guys, if you go back to the watch, you can actually go in. You can go into um, stuff like a remote camera. And you can hit OK if it says connected for this music. You can hit OK. It says disconnecting. It says loading. And of course, if I hold the camera here, guys, You'll notice it's seen once the camera is actually seen. And as all this is happening is that because of the Bluetooth um, app that is connected to the phone. Alright. Um, another way you could actually do the same thing here, guys, is I'm just gonna exit out. So you could actually go to menu, you could actually search, and sometimes what's on your device is that you'll find that there is a quick response menu here. If you scan this tag, it will actually connect you to the BT app. So on some devices like that, if not, you can just search in the Play Store and get the BT notification app as seen here, which is the latest version. This one is a little bit outdated, but this one is the latest version that's updated um, and has every all the cool features.
So I'd advise you to actually get this one that I'm showing you here. And of course, guys, if you go through all of the apps here, you'll notice that the notification will be gone. So for example, if I scroll through and I look back here at the remote um, notifier for uh, messages and so on, they'll still work and you see that the message has changed. And it shows that notification connected by remote device. And you can actually see the options to delete, block, empty. You can actually go back, all right? Versus the older message that will show that it's no long, it's not connected, all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead now and disable this feature. So if I go back over here, guys, and I turn off, and this app, of course, will work for most devices. You can see the W90. I'm just going to disconnect the Bluetooth and it shows you that it's connected. So I'm just going to disconnect. As you see, you guys, it's disconnected now. If I come back over here, and this time, if I actually just hit remote, it will show you the old message that shows that you're not connected. Sorry? So that is basically, and the same for this one here. It says, please um, install BT Notifier app to remote device. All right? So guys, that has been how to find the correct app for your Chinese smartwatch so you can actually um, connect to your device without getting an annoying message that you should install the BT Notifier. And as you saw, guys, that is the actual BT Notifier, the best one in the market for different devices. You'll have different BT Notifiers as shown. However, the best one, as I said, guys, is this one. That's the first option here. It will work for the DZ09 and other similar devices. For other devices, if there are specific versions, check on the watch for the version that's in that barcode or just simply try out all of these until you find the correct one or just find the one in your watch. Alright guys, I think I've talked enough now pertaining to this. So I'm just going to close the video off here. Sorry, this is Ricardo from Black Tech Tips and bye until next time guys. Bye.